Okay, welcome to video three. In this one, we're going to uh, continue with the update shout function um, of the jQuery. Now, as I explained in the last video, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be checking for <coughs> um, updates on the uh, sort of new shouts within the database using this timestamp variable. We're going to do that um, by using an AJAX uh, function, the jQuery function AJAX. So, to start out with, you type a, um, dollar sign uh, dot AJAX, now open up a parenthesis and a curly bracket and close them off with a semicolon. Now this AJAX call is going to hold four um, type, uh, four parameters. It's going to hold a type, um, URL, the data and an on success um, parameter which will run a function on its on a successful call. So the first one is going to be type and we're going to make this a post type. So this will be the equivalent of um, posting to a PHP page. The URL is again going to be that chat.php page. The data, like in the post um, function up here, it's contained within um, curly braces. <coughs> the first one, the first bit of data we're going to be holding is going to be mode. And the mode is going to be check update. Um, hold on. Bear with me a second. Yeah, it's that's all we're going to be sending through. Sorry, I was just checking a um, different bit of code that I'm referring to. And so the next um, parameter will be the on success, which will hold a function inside the parenthesis of um, that function. We're going to place a variable of message. We're going to open and close our curly braces, and that'll be the bulk of our. Oh, that'll be the um, the main part of our checking. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our chat.php page and we're going to create this uh, <coughs> create the check update um, portion. So now, um, if the post uh, with the uh, post variable mode equals check update, we're going to simply query the database. I'm going to select the timestamp. of uh, the chat table we're going to order by timestamp descending and limit it to one we only want to return one um, one value so we'll execute this query
and store the results in row. What we're then going to do is we're just going to echo out um, timestamp, which will send that send the value of timestamp back to our uh, chat.html page. And we can check this. We just go alert message, and we'll make. another little button down here which will just run the update shout for now so when we go to test it we should get a value um, come up and instead we get a, an error come up 17 I do believe the issue is is that I've missed the word by in the query and that was the last timestamp to come through that uh, to be posted we can just double check that so here's our table our last timestamp was uh, 2348.09 so when we click that 2348.09 so it's sending through the latest timestamp back through to the HTML page, and in this success on success, we want to run um, we we want to make an if statement. So if message is greater than timestamp it should equal true we just test this um, eventually loaded so we click submit and nothing's happening so I think this is where it's all going to go to pot save that refresh oh, it does equal true the page obviously didn't load properly last time so now if we take, if we go back to our database and we'll just take this timestamp because this will be the timestamp we're going to be putting into um, onto the page which we're going to be referencing later to do the up check, uh, to, to check the updates and um, if we add 10 seconds onto here, so it's now 2348.19, we should have false returned as opposed to true. There we go. So the update time is not greater than the time stamp we've recorded, nor is it greater if it's going to be the same time. So we get false again if the times are the same. So we change this back to zero. We can remove the else. So inside, if the message is true, if if um, message is greater than the timestamp, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, going back to our PHP page and we're going to be calling for 
all of the update all the updated um, shouts. And I'm going to do this um, with JSON uh, simply because it's it, you know, well. Firstly, it will teach you um, a bit about using JSON, and I think that it sends through less data. Um, I mean, than if you sort of built the chats up in the actual PHP page and then echoed back the chat the uh, you know the the sl selection of divs that we'll then place into um, the JS shouts um, div container I might be completely wrong on that but I'm going to use JSON anyway so the first thing we're going we're going to need to do is we're going to create a new variable and we're just going to call this form data, form data. And this form data um, will act like the query part of a get um, of a get string in a, in a URL. So we're going to want to first send out um, the mode, which will equal. update shout followed by timestamp which will equal the timestamp variable so that acts as our um, query string. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want to send a JSON request, which is done by it's a dollar sign, and they get uh, the word get followed by JSON. Now I'm sure there is a uh, post JSON as well, but the only one I've used is get JSON. Feel free to have a look look at using that instead. Open parenthesis, and we're going to put in our URL, which will be chats.php. Uh, uh, the page the URL to our page. Um, then we're going to put a comma and put in that variable form data followed by a function open parenthesis and we will put JSON there open curly bracket close curly bracket and close the um, parenthesis so this is sending out um, our request and inside here is where um, is basically the uh, the success message, uh, you yeah, know, the, the success parameter um, that we used in the AJAX function. So by using JSON, we can um, get information like we would get information from a, a, an array in PHP it sends over the information in um, in in sort of like a form a form of, of of an array so we can reference individual bits of information um, at, at different points so I'm going to end this video here and We'll continue in the next one where we will start populating the main chat holder.